Yep, let's run them through. Oof. Uh, she's a druid? Yeah, then, then she dies first because she probably has healing magic. Yep. Yep, seeing swarm. Yep. Punch um, through. Oh, no, no yeah, fire. Siren. Oh, wow, he's real slow. No, Siren's really fast. Oh, okay. Good for Siren. We can probably just take her out with a big shot. Yep, yep, knock her out. Here we go. Happy days. Yep, we're just killing your parents, kid. Everything is fine. Right in front of you. Yes, look at the bastion of tolerance and acceptance and love that we have just destroyed. Oh, I we did not kill them. The lizardman and elf woman ran out of breath and crouched down in defeat. Hooray! Stay your weapon. No more. Saren obeyed and pulled back. The child lizard woman stopped hiding behind... We can't just say lizard girl? Hiding behind her parents and picked up the nearest weapon next to her. She threw a mighty spear, much stronger and faster than any Amazon her age could have. The spear whizzed past them both so they could admire her skill rather than fear her. You are a superior child. Stop coming! Leave us alone! The elf woman pulled back her child and glared at them. You must be visited by scavengers often. Ah, savages! Corinne picked up the spear on the ground and held it in her hands. The family went tense. I was mistaken to think that I could come here and take as I please. Oh, uh, no, it's we're PCs. It's cool. I will trade with you as equals. If you're willing. Corinne slipped her rations from her hip along with her personal royal belongings. She threw the satchel on the ground by the child. I give you everything I have of worth for this weapon and for everything else that was robbed from you. You have my word as Amazon Queen that the Amazons will not breach your lands again. A ah, queen! Beef! Beef! The mother hushed her half -breed, the half-breed child. Karen signaled to Sarah... Karen signaled to Saren that it was time to leave. They were allowed to leave the chamber and found their way out of the ruins a lot simpler. Once they were deep in the swamp again, Karen stopped. We had thought too little of the lizard people until now. We should have not been there. I'm sorry that you did not find a gift for Loren. Karen held the spear she had recovered from the room in front of her. It was discolored, very odd, and still surprisingly sharp. I will give this to her. Though she may not wield it, it will sim be symbolic to her strength. A weapon of the Great Mothers is a rare honor. They traveled a long way back to camp. Corinne prepared the spear for Lorraine with much care. She cleaned it and studied it. She even practiced with it to taste its power. It was clear to Saren that Corinne had become attached to it. So it was secretly a happy moment for him when Lorraine refused to take such an immense gift from her mother. This is a spear, mother. You should <laughs> wield it. Not a good God, do, do you have eyes? Swords. I need two swords. You know what? Three swords. Three swords sound great. We have a dog with three heads. Are you rejecting my gift? You dishonor me. Well, um, it's a spear. It's very nice. Um, not enough steel. No, I am honoring you. I have no use for a spear. A weapon is only powerful when it is used. That is what you taught me. I went very far to reclaim this. I shed my royal possessions. I nearly killed a child. You shed your royal possessions for the first lizard men or minotaur you meet. Let's be honest, mother. In my own views, it is yours. Loren! Mother. <laughs> Karen raised her voice, tempting to force Loren to accept her gift. Loren's voice, however, was unnaturally sweet. Mother... If you will not take it, then you force my hand. I will plunge it inside of you. I mean, I will carry it until I can deposit it in the Citadel's reliquary. Loren smiled and left her mother on those words. Sir, Saren also smiled, knowing that Karen would have a token of strength to keep for herself. Perhaps for once, Karen would feel empowered rather than weakened. Spear of the Ancestors. Let's equip that shit. Yep. Uh, right. The UI. There we are. 
Uh, old spear is our <laughs> current weapon. Spear of the ancestors. Well, it's uh, it's it's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's a bit of an upgrade. I'll take that. Yeah. Also, she's the only one that can use it. So that's all right. So grand tree, grand tree. Rock and roll. Maybe I was wrong. Shot. Let's see what we got. Um, Warhammer Kazinga. Gemstone axe. This is all two-hander shit. Standard longsword. We have already, like, raided this shop. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Unless, uh, yeah, tasks? so tasks? Nope. Nope. Nope, we're just in the wrong place. I swear it was Grand Tree. All right, let's go to Horus and take a look. This. Take a look at the shop. Yeah, we've cleaned this one out too. <laughs> uh, yep, yep. I like that the shop persists because it means that we know. Uh, yeah, let's, let's hit camp and look at our quest. Yeah. I swear it was. Oh, that's character quest. So we have two quest logs the desert and forest near Grand Tree. So it's not Grand Tree. So. It's dark Elves? We'll go dark Elves? Elves? Check yeah. out the desert. Sure. All right, night, Pippin. Loren led the party with word from General Ashtray to meet up at the Dark Elf village outside the forest. All they knew is there was a rogue demon wandering the desert looking to recruit Dark Elves to the Everburn Mountains once more. We're just going to walk around the desert. <laughs> yeah, no. It's, 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 it's like deserts are big or dangerous. When they approached the Dark Elf village, however, something was off. Very off. All of the Dark Elves were standing in the center of town in rank and file, staring almost blankly ahead at Ashtray and his troops. The general was, against all reason reasoning, brandishing a sword at Tobar, um, but even the elder elf seemed undaunted by the army before him. What's wrong? What's happening? Mirth and Loren ran up to Ashtray. Why are you challenging the dark elves? We came to fight a demon. We were too late. They have chosen to side with the demons. Mirth almost dropped her staff in horror. That's impossible! Father? The dark el el the elder Dark Elf's face was emotionless, but with a flick of his hand, several elves behind him leapt forward, prepared to kill. Yeah, we're just gonna kill everybody? Yeah, it seems great. Seems, seems fine. great. Seems fine. Maybe um, we will incapacitate. That seems nice. Yeah. Um, da -da 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 -da. Dark Elf's probably not resistant to dark magic. Probably. Um, I'm oh, sure resistance is so weak to dark magic. So oh my god. Alright, sweet. Mm. Uh, so, Scouts, Saren has it's the only warriors. shot before everybody goes. Alright, well, Saren, make it a good one, I guess. Whoa, what's Gumbara doing in the front? Oh god, how did she. Oh, they, they switched they, her. They pushed her back, okay. They, they must have pushed back Lorraine. Yeah, alright, yeah. good to know. Um,. Um, so they're weak to water. Yep, that's yep. fine. Yep, that's half dead. I hope this is slightly uh, Mirth, get that slow on. Yep, slow literally everyone. She wanna, does she want to step back, or does Loren want to step up? I think we can get Loren to step up, and Kambar can just blow away this whole back row. Uh, yep. Um, Kiki, defend? Sure. Kumbara gets a shield wall. And the rank can step up. Oh, she's still gonna get to fight before, uh... Yeah, so... I guess we just take out the weak guy. Yeah, um, yeah. And Lorraine will now have no trouble killing him. Nope. Alright. Oh, yeah, that, that's right through. That's interesting. Right. You're dead now. Uh, Kamara. Do you have anything that will just... Yeah. Can you just kill him? Oh. Um, hit him with a stick. Right. Let's see. The Dark Elves crumpled into a heap. Saren felt guilty beyond belief, knowing that they were not in their right minds. These elves have been bewe bewe bewitched. Even Tobayar. The demons will not stop. 
until everything is taken from me. There was a clear look of pain in his eyes when he turned to face Tobiar again. The other raised his hand as if to call for another attack. No, fight it. You must. There was hesitation in Tobiar's order. Then he ordered it just the same. Several dark elves jumped out from behind him to attack the party again. Misfits shot toward his father, causing all, causing all the dark elves to jump into action. Ashtray's army took the offensive. Lorenz, Saren, and the rest of the party had no choice but to defend themselves in the ensuing chaos. Uh, yep, we're running back. Dark elf healers, eh? Yep. <laughs> Uh, Loren. Uh, well, we buffed everybody. Yeah, yeah, he's great. What's that? Camouflage. Camouflage. Oh, interesting. How's oh, more defense. Great. Let me know how that goes for you. Try this on for size. Everybody's slow. And we're gonna go with the two. Yep, and they're dead. All right, so yeah, let's get this uh, beatdown going. Uh, uh so yeah, yeah I'm good. We win! Yay! I like that the loot that we're getting hasn't scaled up at all. Yet, yeah, no. Like there is special loot, and then there's nothing. The desert winds whipped through the village, clouding everyone's view, but Tobiar's magic shot clear through the haze. The Elder was fighting with strength he hadn't seemed to possess before. Tobiar did not realize that he was trying to kill his best to kill his own son, even though Misfit was a formidable foe. He was no match for his father's enhanced magic. But knowing that, Misfit stood fast, hoping to bring him out of whatever was controlling him. Don't follow my mistakes. Do not become what I've become. Tobiar was blinded. He attacked Mesfit brutally, sending him to the ground. The party rushed to save Mesfit. Boss fight, Tobiar. Ooh. Mesfit's not a requirement. Run it back. Oh, uh, heal, uh, uh, Mert. I don't know what that effect Ooh. was, but... Uh, that, I believe, was, uh, Fireball, maybe? Hmm, maybe. Um, but yeah, uh, anyway, uh, buff. buff. And note Kumbara's, uh... Yeah, Kumbara's, like, super low on health. Um, water... Uh, Aokiki, get the shield wall up. Uh, Mirth. Why don't we get a slow? Yep, it'll do us good. Oh, yeah, yep. we got everybody. We got everybody. And, and Kamara can just kill those healers. Yep. Happy days. And the Kiki. Start with one of that one. Yeah, 245s. Well, you're dead now. Uh, the other 245. I heal. Heal yeah. somebody. Heal somebody. Uh, I want to heal Kamara. I think that. She is. Mirth is gonna drop when she burns. Oh right, Mirth is burning. Uh, in that case, kill her. We kill this guy. Yeah, Kambar goes down, but Loren basically just kills this guy. All oh, right, Tobiar is still alive. I forgot yeah. about Tobiar. Yeah, he's the one to doing all the damage. Yeah, he's our problem. Lizzy week two water. Yep, that'll get that job done. I forgot he was there. Yeah. Oh, Inferno. I think we already have one of those. Oh. A oh, level up. Oh, level up. More strength. Yep, that's it. And we, yeah. And I forget what we're doing. Misfit growled and let his demonic side take over, but it didn't phase Tobear. They ran at each other and traded blows. In an uncontrollable rage, Misfit swiped at his father and he fell to the ground. Almost instantly, he realized what he'd done and stumbled to a halt. Father! He rushed to Tobiar's body. 
even everyone, even Elf and Soldier and like, stopped fighting to see if the other elf had been killed. He's alive! They looked to a polymer show approaching Tobiar. He's just unconscious. Whatever it was that had a grip on his mind, I sense that it has fled. It's rudimentary! He only needs time to recover. He's being mind controlled. By whom? Her. Who? I believe he's referring to a demon! She's near. Saren shuttled him, shuddered and looked around. This is the work of a rare type of demon, a succubus. Her mind controlling magic is truly some of the most dangerous, and as you see what it can do. Turn a family against itself? Misfit bent down into the sand to check on his father once more. Ashtray walked closer to Loren in silence. The demon may think that she has won with the Dark Elves, but you need to tell her that she's wrong. Her next move is likely to target the Forest Elves and corrupt them as well. Oh, what allow that to happen? Oh, what are the other Dark Elves? Everyone looked back at the mindless elves standing, still waiting from Tobar's command. They look helpless without their leader. But they will not return to themselves until the demon responsible is killed! Misfit stood up suddenly and started exiting the village at a quick pace. Ren jumped and realized he was going to apprehend the demon. Uh, follow him. <laughs> Alright, so outskirts. Outskirts, alright. Right? Yeah, we yeah that's new. Yeah. Birds scattered in fear when Misfit entered the trees. He stopped briefly as the whole forest seemed to creak and moan at his presence. Ray walked past him with a disgusted look but said nothing. Misfit took a breath and continued forward. The group pressed through the forest looking for any signs of a demon. Murph hesitated. Ah, oh, kind of go with you. The peon. That's too much to be in the forest along with demons. You're still not used to it yet. Not oh, sure I'll ever be. No one should have to get used to evil, especially you. <laughs> no one should have to get used to evil is actually a really valuable sentiment. Mirth smiled softly up at Saren, inspiring a smile in him too. Oh, very well, go back to the village with the general. We'll return soon, so Mirth won't be in our party for this. Oh, darn. Mirth nodded and left with a wary look over her shoulder. The run had led everyone deeper into the forest. The succubus couldn't have gone very far. There was no breeze, no chirping birds, no wandering animals, nothing. Is it just me? Or did the forest get really creepy from the last time I was here? It's definitely way more... Dora screamed as she ran into an elf woman sil standing silently behind a tree. An elf woman who we already met, like, not that long ago. Yep, yep. Oh, he scared me. Sorry. Wow, what was that voice? Uh-huh. The elf was unresponsive, staring straight ahead. Another! Paul Michaud pointed to yet another elf standing stoically within the trees. Yes, very, very creepy now. More slaves to the demon's magic. Do not harm them if it can be helped. Their innocence. Ray approached one of the elves, sick to his stomach from seeing his people rendered hollow. He reached up to touch the elf archer to see if he could shake him from his trance. When Ray's hands touched him, the elf suddenly grabbed him. The archer's grip felt of it would break Ray's hand until he managed to pull it free. Dora screeched to the elf. She was standing there, suddenly lunged at her. More mind-controlled elves appeared and pulled out their weapons. We have no choice now. Okay, so we don't have Mirth. Um, Kambara's probably still fine, so we just, we just rotate in yep. Paul and Michelle. I like the, the music. It's actually pretty sweet. All yeah, right, what do we got? So we got archers, we got healer in the back. Elf to die. battle mage. Oh, that sounds bad. Yeah, I don't super like that. They're all still weak to dark magic, though. Yeah, and mostly weak to... Oh, Jesus. oh, yeah, okay. That was bad. All right, well. Uh, so, yeah, you need to go forward. No, you need to buff us. Yeah, you can buff from the back row. All right, and Mokiki needs to uh, 
Do we want to shield wall, or do we just want to like just start dumping damage on these guys? Uh, maybe dumping damage because the battle mages are gonna not care about Rose. Water. Uh, fire actually seems to do more damage. Okay. Oh, and it does a lot of damage to that healer in the back. Which is good because uh, I believe Apollo the show can finish. Uh, oh, that's our Inferno. We have Meteor Swarm. Wow. Oh, because they're not weak to Earth. Or Paralyze. Paralyze is probably our go Ooh, yeah, we might... Yeah, if it gets any of those Battle Mages, that's happy. Are they immune? Oh, I didn't check. Uh, the answer is no. They're, in fact... Oh, Resistance to Tired. So, but they're not, they're not immune to Paralysis. Okay, well, it went poorly anyway. Yes. They're... Oh, the, uh, Scouts are Resistant. Okay. Well. Uh, Saren, bring up uh, Kamara. Yep. Uh, Loren, yeah, now we'll get her to switch positions. Um, Kiki. Yeah, kill that 25. Yeah. Uh, Loren, kill this man. Just kill him. Uh, Loren, kill this man as well. Kill uh, the healer. Yep. Now we're in business. Mm -hmm. Probably stick up the gap. Well, Kamara spent that entire fucking fight on the ground. <laughs> they were forced to kill the elves! Loren Grimace looking at their bodies. What unholy magic is this? Demon magic. For the lowest tier of Inferno. Faint giggle reached their ears, sending a chill up their spines. Uh, oh, oh, you flatter me. Jesus Christ! Mel whipped around and saw the figure of a demonic woman, a woman standing with surprising ease amongst the carnage. Amongst? I would have gone with a mist. Hmm, hmm. She took a hand off her hip and started to strut toward them, her high heels delicately stepping over the bodies as if they were nothing. Who are you? Jewel. Jewel. <laughs> right. She stopped for a moment to read Misfit, and then she recognized him and smirked. My, how you grown. You've used my gift to its full potential, I see. I'm impressed. Every muscle in Misfit seemed to clench. You don't look her in the eyes! She'll try to possess you! It's not her eyes I'm looking at, sir. Party members probably looked away and shielded their eyes, but Jewel merely laughed. I can't... I can't goddamn move! Oh, me neither. What's going on? Fear sent as their limbs were suddenly too heavy to lift, trapping them in their bodies. Loren, however, had used all of her strength to reach the hilt of the ember blade. She lifted the handle and the blade started to glow vibrantly. Jewel hissed as if repelled by the sword itself. You foul creature. Loren could only challenge the demon with a fierce look, which unfortunately allowed Jewel to work her unholy magic, penetrating Loren's mind. And then we killed her. Within moments, Loren's will to fight disappeared and her hand fell to her side. Loren, no. A choking sensation cut Saren off as he focused only on trying to breathe. The potency of this one demon's magic was beyond what they could bear. Even the talented Apollo Michaud was barely cognitive. But what was most unmistakable was the deep desire um, of, in the eyes of certain party members for Jewel and only her. Even Loren's math, wrath had melted into lust. Her math, yes. Yes. I have frequently seen math melt into lust. <laughs> Jewel walked around Loren seductively, using the tips of her fingers to tease. Now, now, hasn't anyone told you it's impolite to stare? Fuck. She moved next to Rannis. Seductive can be very different in Inferno. It's true. <laughs> Running a silky hand through his hair, he visibly shivered. Dora looked pained at the sight. Why? Oh, look at what you're making me do. She grazed past Karen, again using her eyes to ensnare them further. Karen's chest heaved. She had never felt anything so wonder as Jules' touch. Now, this is not safe for work. Nothing about this is safe for work. No. Workplaces have standards. Yes. Oh, you being a thorn in my lord's side from the very beginning. 
She dove in close to Ray's face, and his eyes followed her intently. To his disappointment, Duel broke away and fell toward Amokiki in almost the same moment. She leaned against his chest, and he gulped. Saren's mm. stomach flipped, seeing someone lean so intimately against the gladiator. It wasn't right. The demon had disarmed Amokiki so easily. Saren could never do that to him. You just couldn't shrivel up and die. You couldn't even let our war take its course. You should have just stayed home. Joel whispered directly into Souser's ear. His back went rigid, losing all of his monk training in the blink of an eye. She stepped over Kambara, sliding soft fingers behind her head and through her hair. Kambara's were, eyes were heavy and... And her smirk very pronounced. I want this to end with, like, Kambara just being like, oh! And then just breaking her neck. <laughs> it's like, oh, you think you're clever! <laughs> dark magic! You are liking dark magic! I too am clever! Yes. <laughs> let, let us do this sexy thing you're doing. Here, I will go in my sexiest shape. It's giant scorpion! <laughs> and now I have to punish you. Saren wasn't sure who was being played at that moment. Kambara looked just as she did every time she teased him. If Kambara was really bewitched at this moment, was all the teasing really teasing after all? What? She walked up to Mesfit. He was the least affected by her ch charms, but couldn't move a muscle. He could only growl. A smile. A succubus grabbed Mesfit's chin harshly. I hate to see you frowning so much. That worried, that worried elf boy look. Saren screamed from inside his head for a jewel to let Mesfit go. As if she could hear him, the succubus looked directly at Saren. If we can't kill you, then we'll use you like toys. Jewel slunk devilishly in front of Draco and grinned. Wouldn't you like to be my little toy? Uh, I have the option. Oh, good. I thought you were going to brainwash us. Um, smack me down as a new go for the, the toy thing. She flashed her eyes intensely. Draco squeaked and grabbed his throat. Saren fought against the spell binding him, trying to lurch forward to save Draco. Felt his eyes water from absolutely helpless he was. I like that we're getting all these extra lines because we're basically romancing everyone. None of you has a choice. You're all mine. And why? Because I said so. Because I get what I want. And because you make it so incredibly easy for me. A raspy groan kept Jewel from ranting further. She looked around and realized the sound was coming from Loren, no longer looking bewitched. What's that? Are you trying to speak? Or are you just moaning in pleasure? <laughs> Loren's groan turned into a growl, suddenly gaining in volume and ferocity. Soon her mouth opened, she was able to actually shout. Her yell strengthened, louder, harsher. Jesus! Yeah! <laughs> She was unleashing the most mighty war cry anyone had ever heard, looking Jewel dead in the eyes. The demon was no longer smiling. The sound was loud. She had to take a step back. Saren began to feel his own con in control of his own body again. Arms, legs, head, mouth, crotch. Loren! Loren! The strange for his first words, but his, her name filled him with a strange security and liberty that he so desperately needed right then. How are you doing this? How can you shake my magic from your uh, your voice only? Saren saw Loren grab the hilt of her sword. The others around her made small movements as Jewel's magic faded completely away. Oh, no, filthy mortals! You are under my oh oh. oh it's from the it's from the the yeah. game of the opening. Yeah. The ember blade flew out of its sheath and cut through the air just in front of the demon, only missing her by a hair. Loren's shout ended, and she caught her breath. Everyone around her pulled out their weapons as well, now impervious to Jules' charms through the power of friendship. And yelling. To be fair, um, were that a scene in a movie, it would look totally rad. Probably. Oh, you're beyond annoying now. I'm bored of you, and I will do what I want. Or not, uh, whatever. Mess fit! Now look back to see the Dark Elf transformed into his handsome, hot demon form. He was staring intently at Jewel. Come here. Come back for your master. Obediently, Misfit pushed his way through the party members to join Jewel's side. No. No, Misfit. Even Saren's searching look and grasping hands did not shake the Dark Elf's betrayal. Jewel threw back her head and laughed. The demonic Dark Elf stood, waiting by Jewel. He was stoic, 
as if he were a pet waiting for a command. I would also like to point out that Jewel wears more clothes than at least two people in our party. Three people, four people in our party. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, as a seductive succubus, we're all like, we, we all need to be like, you, you need to up your game. Well, the thing is, she doesn't, like, all this magic sort of means any, like, physical attractiveness or, like, yeah, so I guess irrelevant, vocal right? training. Like, like, yeah, she's, like, she's never had to actually figure out how to deal with people or how I wanna to see, take... I want to I want a succubus that's, like, a nine-foot-tall jellyfish. Yeah. She'll point it at Loren. Make sure she dies the most painfully. Misfit bounded forward to obey. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess probably not Kambara. Uh, but... yeah. Misfit's probably either strong or weak to dark magic. But who do we put in instead? Ooh, good question. But Kambara's got a second spell. Yeah, that's true. And it's just one guy. Um. Uh, why don't we heal Kambara? Oh, no, we heal her, yes. Why don't we heal Loren, yeah. Yeah, seems like a great idea. Uh, Loren, get that war cry going. Very thematic. Draco, um, hurt this man. Uh, he is weak he is, to air. Or, a, or water. He's weak to water. Yep. Alright, now Kambara, what do we got here? Heat, blood, fire, soul rot. He is not resistant to dark magic, he's not weak to it either. And water. Convenient. Uh, yeah, hers is just to use the big one. All right, what does Soul Rod do? Does it do more damage? No, no less. Okay. Uh, Apollo Show... Ah, uh, he's a boss. Okay, so yeah. So we can't paralyze him for shit. Oh, we can set him on fire. Yeah, he's resistant to Earth. Uh, let's actually get our defense up. Yeah, because he's about to punch us. And I would just go to town. Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. Just keep it up. Uh, Siren should probably heal somebody. Uh, maybe himself. Yeah, that seems reasonable. That was the end of that. Yep. Yay! Misfit was spa sprawled on the ground, slowly bleeding out. Loren moved, knowing that someone had to make the killing blow. No! Saren rushed to protect him, catching Loren just in time. She will try to flee, but Paula Michaud and Emukiki made their way around her. We must kill him before he's chased us. he wakes to strike again. We were all just under the influence of that demon. We know how strong it is. Ray inhaled sharply and turned away. Get up, you buffoon! Protect me! That's what did stir, sending fear into them that he might still be under Jules' control. His demonic features retracted and disappeared as he grew more conscious. He blinked and looked around at the party surrounding him. He did not attack. He was only silent. And then he said something. Where? Where am I? Where's my father? Ooh, I got some real bad news for Where you. Where are my parents? Uh, um, so there was a... I want my mom. Oh, you're so useless to great. Luckily, I have more where you came from. Oh, we haven't fought them in ages. Yeah, it's been a while. Without warning, decrepit dark pools bubbled up from the ground around Jewel. From the bo void sprang decrepit arms pulling demon bodies to the surface. I was wondering where I picked up that word. The trees around them shivered and started turning black. The grass beneath their feet turned brown. She's killing the forest. Who cares about some stupid trees? Sweetie, show these guys how I like it done. With demons by her side sprang into action quicker than anyone expected. Pass by Jewel! Alright, so... Bup, 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 bup. Jewel is almost... And the demons are almost certainly weak. Or strong against uh, dark magic. Uh, yep. So but who do we bring instead? We don't really have anybody. Oh, unless we bring, uh, throw Saren in the back row and bring one of our punchers. And, and bring Misfit? Yeah. Let him get some revenge. Yep, seems fair. 
Or turn on us mid fight. Jesus. Ooh. That's a lot. Maybe we should have brought Kimbara. <laughs> eh. It's too resistant to like everything. They are critically weak. These guys are critically weak to water. These two are... Yeah, yeah then they're elemental rotation. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Saren, I guess we just open up on whoever, right? Yeah, take one of those back row guys. Let's try to kill something. All right. Buff, buff. Buff. That's what's almost dead. And he is dead. Is dead. All right. Um, water? Yes. Yep. yep. Um, Earth? Yep. Yep, that's doing some... That's doing. Or we could go for Paralysis. Um, She's immune. She's immune. What are they immune to? They are critically weak to tires. You don't have anything that tires them out. But none of them are immune to Paralysis. I think, I think damage is really the way to go, though. What is our, what is our odds on Paralysis? 25. With the... Uh, so yeah, we average 25 1. with that 5. 50 with 50 with the uh, the single row, which still averages 1.5. Yeah, like it's not great. Okay, yeah, let's just knock him dead. Uh, uh, but defend. Yeah. Yeah, we'll Sarah. And then punch the weakest one. Yeah, we just need to clear out some of this. There we go. Yeah. Uh, Saren, bring Mesa back up. Just in time for him to die again! Hooray! Oh. Alright, I guess we'll do it with this guy. Uh, yep. Oh, she's, uh... Yeah, the next person we've got is a polymer show. And then an Earth Demon, still... It's gonna be a while to anybody else can kill that guy. Yeah, I think we take the kill. Yeah, take the kill, let a polymer show heal. Or feed her some kind of potion. All you can do is give her. Oh, those are terrible. Yeah, no, points. no. No, we take the damage, I think. Yep. Yep. Because it means that Draco can kill the the back row. Yep. Like right. Yep. And now we start. Now we start getting getting some of our own back. Yeah. Now Saren can get hit her up. Hooray. Yeah. Um, Amokiki can start beating down that guy. Um, yeah, I think again we go with... What does the... What's the Inferno do? More. More to her, but nothing to the front guy. We can kill the front oh, guy. Oh, you can kill the front guy. Okay, yes. Oh. Oh, that's not helpful. Oh, that's... That's not... That's not great. Uh, um, they're weak, at least. Yeah, 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 one good, uh... So I think we just keep... Oh, and out. we get to all go first, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Ren. Unless she wants to rebuff us. Um, yep, do that. Um, Draco. That kills at least one of, probably two of them. Probably two. The other one does not. This one, yeah. This kills one. one. Yeah, right. that's better. So, about that kills two too. That kills two pretty well. Uh, only hits the row though. It doesn't hit her, but it's only fifty damage that we're missing out on. I guess it doesn't make that much of a difference, right? So we might as well take the extra yeah. damage. Like the difference between killing this one and killing this one is basically yeah, and that two. gets the other one closer to death. So. Yep. Alright, Saren, Saren, you have job to do. Your job is heal on Mukiki. Yeah. Make tank tank. Yeah. Uh, Loren. Yeah, do the, terrible things to her. Um, Meteor, yeah. Yep. That ends that fight. Let's go. Spray! I was tense for a moment. Yay! Duel's necklace! Ooh. Ooh, it gives you a bunch of, like... Well, it gives you A, resistance, and a bunch of weaknesses. That actually That's sounds terrible. terrible. Hard pass. Jules shrieked so high-pitched that they had to cover their ears in pain. Her voice, her voice then gave out, and I'm about to cover my ears in pain. Uh, 
and so does her last ounce of strength. The demon succubus crumpled to the ground. Yay! Hooray! We're gonna level up and then we're gonna take a break. That sounds great. Alright. So Alright. We, we get a skill uh, point. Uh, better res? Better res actually seems really useful. Yeah. Uh, Kamara, because I skipped over Amakiki completely. She has a skill point. She just gets more heat blood. Yep. Amakiki levels up, also gets a skill point. Um, he gets shout, and then later we get better skill at shield wall. Yeah. Yeah, because Amakiki was the guy where we were like, oh, we get both sides, then we get the middle one, then we get both sides, then we get the middle one. Not realizing that we could have just gone straight up both sides. But we still wanted one. the middle one. Yeah, like, it's, like the thing is, the middle one is useful, and we use it. The other ones we skip. But we didn't. We could have skipped level two. We could have gone from one to three. Yeah. Uh, Draco. Ramus. Oh, he's got a skill point. So he's got the max fire breath thing. That's true. Trouble's probably a pretty good frontline fighter, too. So we, I think, yeah, menacing growl, because it's a pushback. Yeah, because we can then take... Yeah, because we can then... Oh, but it, but it doesn't... There's no percentage chance of a pushback. It just works all the time. Yeah, it just it pushes back. Right, that's why we didn't take higher levels, because why would we? Yeah. It's active. The party needs to be staggered. Active. Make him a tank. Yeah, he gets a bunch of, like, self buffs. Just give him more hit points. Sure. Like, that's where we're probably going to wind up with Amokiki.